Hey Bananas, this is Santana back with another tier list Tuesday for ya. Now, as you know from my first ever tier list uh, Thursday, got uh, I did a tier list of K-pop boy groups. So this time, I'm going to do a list for the girl groups in K-pop. So the categories are the same as before, from ultimate biases to crap, and I'm going to do this in... <coughs> alphabetical order, or as best I could. <clears throat> the same rules apply for the girl groups as well as boy groups. <clears throat> the ones that I put in barely know them, I probably like rookie groups and stuff like that. So, 21, definitely alt biases. I love them. And, uh, four, m four minute, um, put them under biases because like there's my favorite song of them is cr called Crazy and Hate the song sorry and Nine Muses uh I think they're cool I just hardly get to listen to their material so I'm going to keep trying that um for app called After School I like the cons I'm going to put them under biases uh behind 4 minute because I like the concept they did for their group like they get ad admission and graduation. I think that's a nice concept to keep it fresh. Um, AOA, I'm going to put... Uh, I like them. Because um, I like the logo for it. The AOA kind of looks like... Uh, there's something that's wildly inappropriate, but I'm not going to get into detail here. Like their song, I think it's called Miniskirt, I believe. I need to try to get try that dance. Um... A pink, uh, their biases. One of the main reasons that they released uh, album on my birthday uh, last year called Percent, and that's gonna get in my book because April, uh, as I, I think they're crap and for. Don't like the logo as well as hardly get to know their songs and the ones I did listen to. And they're just completely boring and the music videos are boring. So, uh, Blackpink, alt, alt biases. Like uh, Jenny's solo song, Solo. So, uh, how ironic is that? Mm, uh, Brave Girls. I think they're okay. I like the logo they did, uh, they do, I just don't like some of the music videos, but I think they're really awesome. And, and Brown Eyed Girls, Alt Biases, like her songs Abracadabra, and, um, like, uh, Ja In, or Ja In's, uh, song Paradise Lost. I think I'm gonna sing that in, at the next Korean cultural event, if there is one, by the time this coronavirus is done and over with. Uh, Cherry Bullet, I barely know them because they're a relatively rookie group. I like the logo, though. I like how the C looks like a actual cherry. That's awesome. <clears throat> and CLC. Yeah, I like them. Just look at the logo. It's so cute. It looks like a kitty cat, and I love it. Uh, Dal Shabbat, I think they're cool. Um, you put them above night above nine muses and cool and <clears throat> the dowel sh I like how the legs look like uh, bunny ears or deer antlers and their song Joker and that was banned in Korea because the Korean word for Joker uh, is dangerously close to English word of a m certain male body part but I'm not going to get into that here so the next one is I think is called uh, Dio D.I.O. like ice cream cone, uh, barely know them. I like the, I like the logo of it. And if you know the name of that uh, band, just let me know. I need to know. It's Dreamcatcher Alt Biases. I like when they covered that song, that Maroon Five song, Lucky Strike. And, and I think because they're a girl group and didn't change the pronouns. It's not an LGBT uh, track. It's just a cover song for them. So just leave them alone, please. 
That's EXID is all biases again. And partly because 92 liner Hanny is in it. I like their song Up and Down. I think I can do the choreography pretty well. I just need to keep practicing. This next one is uh, Five Star. And I like them. Mm, I like their logo. I just don't know why they put the Singapore... It looks like the Singapore flag logo in it. That's weird. There's Fromus 9, uh, Barely, barely Know Them. I like the... I like the logo they did. It looks like a heart-shaped apple with an arrow in it. Just too bad it's not red. Yeah. There's FX all biases. Put them ahead of brown-eyed girls. Because, um... I like the logo they did for red light. And Amber's in it. 92 liner again. So... And G Idol has biases. Just going through these real quick. And this one, uh, G Friend. Um, yeah, I put them ahead of at the head of the Like em, uh stage. I like their song Fever. And one of the dance groups in the Korean cultural event last year won first place with this. So it's nice. Girls Day. Um like their song and bias is ahead of after school but not but just behind four minute like when the the parody group boys day covered their song something that's funny now they have and then I think they're okay I like the logo but that's not the point hmm hello venus they're definitely biases Wiggle Wiggle. I think I can do their choreography better than the other girl groups. <clears throat> Produce 101. Yes, Produce 101. And crap. And Itzy. Barely know them. Itzy 1. Even though I barely know them, I think I definitely like them ahead of AOA. And Kara. They're cool. There's Ladies Code. Definitely put them ahead of four minute because they've gone through a whole lot as a group. Is I just hope they get the help they need and rest in peace. Unbi ninety two liner and Rize. I think uh, Luna's cool more than Dal Shabbat because look at the logo, it's nice. I think this one's uh, Lovelies. Put them ahead of Nine Muses. And Alt Biases. And Mom Mama Moo is awesome. Melody Day, I barely know them. I'll just put them there. Miss A. They're definitely biases ahead of Girl Day. Of Momoland. Oh boy. <clears throat> put them ahead of. Put them ahead of G Friend and like them. Hey, oh my girl. Oh man. Definitely like them. Look at the logo. It looks like a crown or tiara or something. This is Pristine. Pristine. I think they're. Put them ahead of Nine Muses and Cool. There's Rainbow. Um, ahead of Brave Girls and OK. <clears throat> it's just ridiculous that they couldn't do this particular dance move in their song A. They're revealing their abs. It's just a double standard and I don't like it and I think they should stop. There's Red Velvet. Put them in alt biases. Like their song, uh, songs such as Red Flavor, Bad Boy, and, uh, whatever. And definitely, like, Secret, ahead of Oh My Girl, her song Poison, obviously. And Sis Star, and ahead of Ladies Code and Biases, because I don't want to, never mind. 
Now, for girls' generation, but I'm ahead of 21, my favorite uh, K-pop girl group alongside 21, Alt Bias is their album G, mini album G, was released on my birthday in 2009 when I was 17. This is awesome. Now for Sonamu. Definitely like them. Look at their logo. It looks like a mouse. It's cute and I love it. We have Stellar. And Stellar for, uh... Mm. Mm, hardly any room for one Stellar ahead of Cool and Tiara. I think they're okay. I only put them in uh, between four minute and Miss A. Now have uh, I don't know what this uh, one is. It looks like a heart shaped. It looks like a heart shaped Saturn. I think they're cool, so we'll put them with uh, pristine nine muses. The Wonder Girls. I definitely definitely like them. Her song, Nobody. I think I can do that one. And Everglow. I think, I think Everglow is okay. Put them ahead of Tiara. Wecky Mecky, I barely know them. And even though I have no idea what Nina Pia is, I'm going to put them in uh, cool because I like the logo they use. So that's my uh, list of my tier list of the K-pop girl groups. So stay tuned for more videos like this. Leave a comment on the description down below if you know any of the groups that I don't know. And also subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.